Investigation is the key step under the responsibility of the Provincial AEFI Committee. Without an in-depth investigation, it will not be possible to determine the cause of the event. Which AEFI should be investigated? After receiving an AEFI report, the Provincial AEFI focal person should analyze the report and set up an investigation team when needed. Investigation should be done within two working days after receiving the report. When preparing an investigation, please refer to the aid memoir on investigation and the AEFI guidelines. And use the newly revised investigation forms. They have been adapted to COVID-19 vaccines. There are five steps to AEFI investigation. First, confirm the information in the report. Second, is the investigation and data collection. Third, assess the immunization service. Fourth, field investigation of clusters and lastly, conclude the investigation. Confirm the information in the report. You should double-check patients' details. Make sure that the events occurred after the vaccination. Also, classify the case as serious or non-serious. Identify other cases considered a cluster and need to be included in the investigation. Planning investigation. The investigation team will focus on three components. Hospital, gather information on medical conditions and care given from the hospital staff. Immunization clinic, visit to immunization clinic to investigate immunization service provided by immunization team. Field, gather additional information from family patient caregivers and to search additional cases. Investigate and collect data about the patient. Talk to the patient or family members and ask about the patient underlying conditions, other medicines used, and previous medical history, including if there have been any other similar reactions in the past and if he or she has other allergies. Also, ask about family history of similar events. Investigate and collect data about the event. Visit the hospital where the patient was treated and meet with the physician. Review the patient chart to collect information on the history of events in chronological order. Check the sequence of clinical manifestations in response to treatment. Review relevant laboratory and clinical imaging and other tests. Review treatments and outcome. In some cases, you might need to collect additional samples on the patient. In case of a death, an autopsy might be needed. An autopsy should be done within 72 hours to provide the best information. If an autopsy is not possible, specimens from the deceased for lab tests could also provide crucial information. Visit the immunization sites where the case was vaccinated and interview the team. Check vaccine storage, vaccine quality such as VVM, vaccine expiry dates and batch numbers. If the vaccines were reconstituted, check the diluent. Observe if the vaccinators practice injection safety and waste disposal. Lastly, check the documentation of the vaccines and patients' home-based record. Investigating cluster of cases. If two or more cases of similar illness are reported in the community, they need to be investigated at the same time, following a specific procedure for cluster of cases. You can find more information on investigation of cluster of cases in the WHO aid memoir for investigation. Concluding the investigation. The team should review all relevant epidemiological, clinical and laboratory findings. Most importantly, formulate a hypothesis on the cause of the event. Reach a provisional conclusion on the cause and complete the AEFI investigation form. The investigation report should be sent to NIP within five working days. NIP will then review the investigation report and call for a National Immunization Safety Expert Committee to conduct a causality assessment.